Hi beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new. Today it has been extremely highly requested that I do a store-bought slime makeover. So before we get started, I am having a giveaway with two winners running until the end of November. They'll each be receiving a $100 gift card to my slime shop and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel, my vlog channel, and follow both of my Instagrams. As always, I'll link all of that down below for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And let's get started. So I showed you guys this slime a little while back I got from Amazon and I loved the watermelon theme of it, but it was very heavily clay based and it didn't, to my knowledge, really have any glue in it because it wasn't that stretchy. It was a little bit slippery, but I loved like the little watermelon charm. So I wanted to make this just the same, but better. Better. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like slime makeovers to be like a completely different transformation or if you like to see the original slime like keep the same theme with it but just better. Hopefully that makes sense but let me know which one you prefer down below. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to make it better. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in some lotion. So if you didn't know lotion will really make your slime stretchier. So that will definitely help this slime some but it won't get rid of that slippery clay feeling that it has. So it will help with the stretch a bit, which it definitely needed. So I needed some into the slime, but then I went ahead with this Matty Ray slime glue. This is just a white glue and it's really helpful just to kind of apply it like this in small amounts at a time. Now the glue is going to make this more like a true homemade slime. So it's going to make the texture really nice. Now, if you use too much glue, it's definitely going to make it very sticky and then you'll have to go in and add more activator but any slime that's kind of stiff and over activated I like to add a little bit of glue just in small increments that way when I'm mixing it like this I didn't get like any glue on my hands it kept it very nice and neat um, so I just kept going in with a little bit I probably did this four or five times until it was the consistency that I personally enjoyed um, and that way if you just do a little bit out of a time you can't go overboard and won't do too much and then you'll have to be stuck activating it because it will have too much glue so it's a really fine line so with slime it's always very helpful just to add a little bit at a time but as you guys can see, the slime is definitely like inflating some. It's getting very, very sizzly. And I absolutely love how this slime turned out. The texture was so amazing afterwards. The lotion made it nice and stretchy and soft. And the glue just really helped, again, make it stretchy and more like a homemade slime. And it already had clay in it. So it really helped make it like a fluffy, holdable slime. So I added in some more sprinkles, added the charm, and I just thought, this was so cute. This next slime was another one that I originally got from Amazon. And again, like it wasn't a terrible slime. It wasn't the worst that I've ever tried, but it definitely wasn't super, super stretchy. So instead of adding white glue to this one, I added some clear glue. You definitely don't really want to add lotion to a clear slime because it'll make it very, very foggy. So I wanted to give this one a little bit more stretch before we kind of ramp it up and make a little bit of a twist on this slime. But I did really like the texture. It was like a jelly slime. So I wanted to keep that texture in, just make it a little bit stretchier and more fun to play with and better for ASMR. So that's what I decided to do with this part. But then I wanted to do kind of like, this reminded me very much of like a strawberry. It came with a cherry charm. So you kind of get the feeling like strawberry cherry. So I wanted to do like a cheesecake or like some kind of dessert theme slime. So I decided this would be really pretty if it was like marbled. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in with just this plain slime that's kind of like 
I don't know, like a bread colored. And I'm gonna add some of the Maddie Ray's Instant Snow into it. And this is just dry snow because I definitely want it to be like a cloud cream kind of, and not really like a cloud, but I just wanted to give it a really nice inflatable texture once it was combined with the cherry like jelly slime. So I went ahead and just mixed that in. Now, when you add in the dry snow into your slime, you definitely want to let it sit before you add any more, at least for a good 10, 15 minutes, because the snow kind of takes time to like activate and work its magic. So what starts out as like a little bit of snow will really like even blow up even more. And this is what it looks like once it has sat. So I didn't add any more snow to it, but then I thought it'd be really cool to like marble these together and then just put it back in the container. I definitely had a lot more than fit in the container but that's okay but I thought this was a really really cute twist something you would see in like a slime shop and just a really cute slime something I would enjoy personally so I wanted to keep again to that same original theme but make it a little bit better Now for this last transformation, I have this Nickelodeon slime and you guys, I actually really quite like these slimes, like for store-bought slimes, I think they're really good, but they aren't like made out of gl like normal glue like you would at home, but I did just want to, you know, to make it a little more fancy, a little more special and just see what we could do with this. So again, I liked the theme. I'm just going to make it a little bit better. So I'm adding in a slightly deactivated clear slime just to give it a little bit of stretch if I were to add in like really like perfect or slightly over activated clear slime it would have made this too stiff and I wanted it to be a little bit more stretchy so I went in with this Maddie Ray's metallic food coloring and these are super cool so I wanted to make this a metallic blue instead of just a regular glue uh, glue <laughs> a regular blue because I thought that would be really fun so I'm just mixing that in so I'd really love to know in the comments down below, like honestly, which way do you prefer? Do you like me just making these slimes better or do you like to see them completely transformed into like a unrecognizable slime? I would really love to know. But this metallic color was so, so pretty. I absolutely loved it. I can't wait to play around with those food colorings even more, but it was just gorgeous and really easy compared to like using a pigment or something like that. So the next thing I'm gonna add in, which I I also thought was really cool and fun were these micro bead sets from Slime by Maddie Ray and I have never seen these before actually and I think they're really cool. So I'm gonna add in like these teal one and these blue ones but if you guys have any like really cool ideas for this please let me know in the comments down below because I thought these were super cool and different and I thought they would go great kind of like with the pom-poms and would just be really cute. So once I have all that, this is the final slime, just a little bit different, but definitely this is like something that feels handmade. The ASMR and the bubble pops on this are so good. They were pretty good at the beginning, but even now it was just so stretchy and so amazing, yet it wasn't sticky like a clear slime at all. So I think it was just the perfect combination. And I really, really enjoyed this one and just loved the little micro beads. It gave it a fun texture. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was too different from the original. So I don't know if you guys want to see something different, definitely let me know. But I just wanted to try to make these slimes as good as they could possibly possibly be if that makes sense um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed my past few videos, you could click on over to the side of me. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.